Talk to Pizza Train. Bop, bop, bop. What, yep. do you, what, do you, what do you need to talk about? I see Pizza, Pizza Train. Pizza Train. Pizza Train in the chat says, hey, uh, tell Jack uh, that I hated Luke Cage season one as much as he did, but season two is real, real good. Okay. Uh, that's what Pizza Train says. Uh, I've watched one episode of season two. Yeah. And uh, so far, it's the same hot garbage as season one. Yeah. That's just one episode. Okay. Okay. But that one episode... That the first episode of season two of Luke Cage does nothing, goes nowhere. Uh, the exact same problem of, of you, you erratic characteristics. You should have put your hands down and then just pretended you really knew what oh, you yeah. were doing with the game. Oh, yeah. No, I'm playing right now. Yeah. Oh, oh. They, they, uh, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, game seems to be running fine. Of course, we're, you know, we have the, the separate, separate streaming computer now, and I turned down a bunch of the graphic settings just in case. Okay. So let's, let's hope. Uh, but yeah, we, I, last night, Lisa and I sat down. Hey, what do you want to watch? And we have, we have a bunch of backlogs, a bunch of shows we want to watch to catch up to. But it's like, ah, you know what? Feeling a little feeling a little brave tonight. Let's watch that season two of Luke Cage. I hear it's good. People yeah. keep saying it's better than season one. I'm ready. And episode one, not so good. You, you know what you could have watched? What could I have watched? The Venture Brothers. I could have watched The Venture Brothers. That would have been great. I'm assuming you haven't watched any of it yet. No, no, no I've okay. not watched any okay. of it. Uh, you know what else I could have watched? Uh, I could have watched uh, The Expanse, which I need to catch up on, or Westworld, which I need to catch up on, or Killing Eve, which I need to catch up on. There, there's like good shows that I actually enjoy that I could have watched, but I wanted to take a, a, a little chance. See, one of one of two things would happen if you watched The Venture Brothers. Yeah. Either you would love it, mm -hmm. and we would have something to talk about. I'd be able to talk to somebody about The Venture Brothers. Yeah. Or you will bizarrely hate it. Mm-hmm. And it'll still be a good conversation about the Venture Brothers. I will get to it. it, it I, I I will get to it. Uh, I would have watched it. I would have watched it, but I, I've been I I, I I was editing. As we have an episode to edit, and uh, I was uh, I, I was on a good edit streak these last couple days. Yeah, but you're like eight years late into Venture Brothers. Oh, try I, try so I, 14. So I guess uh, that means I can't watch it. <laughs> All right. I'm too late. <laughs> eight. Eight years. As if it's only been eight years. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into the practice here. Just so I can remember yeah, how yeah. some of the moves work. Let's take a look at um, and probably probably an other year away from season seven at this rate. Hellboy. Ew, ugly Joker. Seventh season is coming in thirty days or so. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> That's the smart call right there. Wait, 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 wait. What? I never, I never fucking remember. I know I should remember. Do I remember? Oh no, I think I thought I, I Oh, just nothing. I thought I set this one oh what did I do? Oh hold on. I thought I set this one up to nothing, but apparently it's defaulted to my uh to my general Windows ID uh, password, which I need to okay. remember. Okay. Hold on. Justice 2 story is shamelessly embarrassing, especially when they bring in Joker. It's beyond cash grab. Is the story the main draw for a fighting game normally? No. No, it is not. We died in the second one. Well, you want Joker in the new fighting game because it's a fighting game. The purpose is just all the characters you have access to so they can punch each other. Fan service. <laughs> we want to have the fans talk about the fan thing they like. I guess you don't need to use them in story mode or something, but...
There we go. Okay, there you go. Okay, okay. Uh, we'll we'll see if we can fix that. So uh, so it does not require a password to log in. Okay, I'm probably gonna need to, I'm probably gonna need your help signing into eight other things so I can read. No tips. problem. <laughs> approaching Arkham Asylum. Yeah, I got the... Uh, we, we discovered this when we bought it. You can buy the Legendary Edition for like 60 bucks, or you can buy all the, the game and all the individual DLC for like 120. It was, it was nuts. There we go. I think we're good. Okay. So you're, just, you're practicing with Hellboy? And not doing anything. Okay, why? I'm I'm almost disappointed it doesn't look like uh like Ron Perlman? Mike Mike Begonia art. Oh, uh you know, I was gonna say actually I think it's more his art style than movie style. No, I mean like flat out 2D looking. Oh yeah. like like that kind of just like red and black. Yeah. Mike Magnolia. Like Magnola. Something like that. Yeah. Let's uh. grab. I think he looks very silly. Like, look at his tiny, tiny legs and his big body. Are you saying that Hellboy looks silly? That's exactly what I'm saying. Oh, you can switch stances. Look at that. Oop. Beep. Oop. Beep. <laughs> oh, that did something. Nice. Okay. I really hope that hurt. J just figuring the game out still. That was just straight up button mashing. Okay, super move available. <laughs> Appropriate. Nice. Okay. All right, I think I'm good. We'll just play through the story. Any thoughts on Jared Leto being cast as Mor Morbius, the living vampire, in Sony Spider-Man solo universe, which doesn't feature Spider-Man? I have the same thoughts that everybody should have on this. Mm -hmm. No thoughts. Because nobody should give a fuck about Sony's non-Spider-Man, Spider-Man universe. Mm -hmm. I thought we've already agreed that the, the non-Spider-Man, Spider-Man universe, uh, which is kicking off with the Venom movie, no Spider-Man's most about. overrated character. Yeah. And, and haven't we already all agreed that not even Tom Hardy cares about the Venom yeah. movie? It just looks like a hot mess. It looks like it's going to be a bland and generic dark movie. Oh no, the Terminator's here. What little I know about this game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Brainiac. Brainiac. This is Krypton, and that would be Supergirl. Okay. That's Kara. That is my very strong presumption. So is this... But... What? But what? So... When did this happen? Well, presumably... Or is this on another reality? Presumably this is in the past. Well, of course it's in the past. Yeah. But... I'm going to assume that in this universe, Brainiac destroys Krypton? 
I guess we're going to, you know what, maybe we should just wait and find out. Yes, that is Kara. In this universe, Brainiac destroys Krypton. Oh, boom. <laughs> there we go. Apparently, Rich <laughs> figured it out already. Blue laser? <laughs> Blue laser out of the Brainiac ship? Oh. What? Did you really know that? No. God damn it. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> Rich, you could make a killing being a writer. <laughs> Are you saying that I could write a Hollywood blockbuster? I I'm saying that if they ever need a hack, you're the one. <laughs> you know all the things. <laughs> Everyone's mouth is like this, Rich. No. Kara! What face do you Stay make after this happens? Uh, this, only this. Ah, oh, it's fine. Argo City's gone. Millions of people. That's only the beginning. Brainiacs destabilized the planet's core. Krypton won't hold together much longer. Oh, okay. All your research. Isn't there something you can do? That's why we're here. A spaceship. That's what you've been working on? Your uncle Jor-El discovered a planet that can sustain Kryptonians far away from Brainiac. He's built a ship just like this for your cousin Cal. But Cal, he's just a baby. Which is why you'll need to protect him. Teach him our ways. We teach him. What about you? No. No. No, I won't leave you. Please. Please don't make me. I can't Could you have sent a boy my own age? <laughs> I mean, he's my cousin. <laughs> you you really weren't thinking this through, were you? I know Krypton is the south of the galaxy. <laughs> but if, we, if we're going to propagate our race, maybe someone else, you know? Just putting that out there. Mom. That's pretty standard canon. She left it around the same, or, you know, new yeah, canon. Yeah, she yeah. She left that around the same time as Cal, but her pod got knocked off course. Whoopsie doops. <laughs> well, they did end up in Kansas. Kansas isn't the South. In my years fighting crime, I've learned one truth. That every villain is the hero of his own story. Superman was no exception. The Joker drugged him, tricked him into killing his pregnant wife Lois, and made him trigger the bomb that nuked Metropolis. So when Superman killed the Joker, I understood why. We all did. But once that line was crossed... Oh, fuck off! There was no going back. I think, I think we can all make an exception for the Joker, especially after Metropolis Superman. got nuked. Stop all crime before it happened by any means necessary. But he couldn't see his good intentions were leading him down a path of tyranny. Right. And evil. That's how our greatest hero became our greatest threat. You know, that's so the thing. It's just like, outcome. you know. They're the worst of the worst. He's going to kill them, Damien. Sounds like justice to me. Damien. Killing people isn't justice. Superman can't see that. He's grieving. He needs time to heal. Yeah, and what if it had been Gotham? If Joker had killed me, your own son? 
thought. I'd be say. glad to be rid of Damian Wayne. Yeah, that's why. That's why he didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah. He was like, he's like, do you think he could? Oh, that would be great. He's not responding. We're being taken to the back cave. Prepare to eject. Uh, we do have some. Oh, that's right. Our our screen is full screen, which means we're we're lopping off the bottom half of it, so you guys oh. can't see the subtitles. I'm very sorry. Um, and we're not gonna fix it during the uh, stream because we know that that leads to doom. Stream doom. They want to read the thing. I know, but do you want to? I can turn off our overlay. A warning shot, cyborg. I won't hurt no. you unless I have to. Don't you're do that. Gonna have to. My oh God, you're, re you're re resizing it. Starfire, beast boy, gone. We do this. That never happens again. You're right, right to be angry, but it's not a blank check. Whoa! Now I'm blocking off. Ah, that's fine. The subtitles. We can just turn the fucking volume off. Do I need to turn the sound on the game up? No, it's fine. All right. No. Proceed under the assumption that it's fine. Okay, great. That's a great idea. Ow. Yug one says Jack and Rich. Which game sounds better, Super Hot Roguelite or Armello? Turn-based digital board game. Uh, well, I know nothing about Armello, so I'm gonna have to go with Super Hot Roguelite by default. Right. Yeah, Super Hot Roguelite could be fun. I know that one of my big problems with Super Hot was the super pretentious story. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I might like Super Hot Roguelike. Oh, did I do it? You oh, don't see oh it weak. But Superman's wrong. Uh, Armello, I think I've played a little bit of, actually. Work. I have Armello. Yeah, I'm fine. Yep. And, you know, it's fine. Let's go. I, I didn't, I didn't uh, fall in love with it. It's fine. Oh, but, you know, speaking of board games, Rich. Yeah. Some, uh, some crazy news drops today. Yeah. A uh, friend of the stream... Edmund McMillan okay. has been teasing a new game he's been working on. Oh, my God. And he, he announced this morning a Binding of Isaac card game, uh, which which has a Kickstarter, which uh, which I found out about at, like, 10 o'clock this morning. Yeah. And as of, it, like, I think it, the Kickstarter so opened at kill, 8 in the morning. By the time I found about it at 10 o'clock in the morning, it was already 400% funded. So, <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> it's happening. Hey, girl. It's the ugliest version of some of these characters. Help, Bruce? Yep. Yes, to keep you and Clark from making a terrible mistake. None of us wanted this, but the Joker forced our hand. Metropolis changed the world. Now we have to change with it. Not like this. Of so is this people, like I thought you before understand. before injustice? This one. is this is an injustice prequel right now. Yeah. Oh. What did that? What do those things do? Oh. Sorry. Oh. Nope. Okay. We're not, we're not doing great. <laughs> You're doing okay-ish, Jack. Great. I feel I feel good about doing okay-ish. Oh, fuck. You just mash the buttons and everything will be fine. That's, that's, that's I know. That's what I'm this doing. This is a fighting game. Oh, shit. Now. It. This is Batman Super. I've, I've seen some of these. They're neat. It's <laughs> over, Diana. <laughs> oh. Shit, you killed me. 
Why not? I'm not saying this is a bad fighting game, but I, I, I don't know how you could argue that isn't one of, one of the ugliest costumes Batman has ever worn. Oh, and I mean, his like also his facial animations look super weak. Ow. Oh shit, you got me. Is there a... Uh, this is for the chat, and Rich, if you could uh, double check for me. Yeah. Is there a dedicated block button, or is it just pressing the back button? Uh, I, will, I will wait for the chat to say. Thank you. Because it's probably just the back button. It's usually just the, the back button, but... Wonder Woman costume is also crap. It's not great. Back to block. Just ba back. Okay, great. Thank you. It's over, Diana. There are tons of costume combinations. So I've heard. I'm just pointing out that what I'm looking Davis. at right now is hideous. And I don't know. I don't know why that's a controversial thing to be saying. I don't think it is a controversial. Oh, oh. Did I lose? Yeah, I did. Retry. No, this is ugly. They're ugly. They're ugly. They're all ugly. <laughs> Everyone. Everyone in the world of is all ugly. People, I thought you would understand. Costumes cost extra? Wait, do you actually have to buy the, the in-grade customizable costumes? You don't earn them through play? Oh, yeah. It's I don't know why I would be surprised by that if that's true. But it's DLC. Well, I thought the DLC was extra characters. And costumes. No. Oh. Rich, you can't say anything negative about anything or people get offended. I have noticed this. Yes. Now. Your powers don't matter. Oh. Helpful tip for Jack, you can tag combos in the move list to show on screen while fighting. Helpful to use moves without memorization. Nope. Ow! Your technique is flawed. Are we are we not playing against each other? I well we're we're going through the story mode. Yeah, that's 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 where our fun came from last time. Can you do two player story mode? Uh not that I know. Shit, apparently I can't even do single player story mode because I'm sucking so bad at it. I gotta, I gotta resort to abusing my super moves. Gotta get back into the flow. Shit. Nope. There we go. Oof. I know Wonder well, to be fair, Wonder Woman would whip that man's ass, so it's okay. You need to tell me yeah. the truth. Where is he? Cell block C. You can't turn your back on him. He needs you. That's why I came. Is he just gonna slaughter everybody with his heat vision? That would be great. It's just like, could you guys line up for a second? Where we go? <laughs> I ain't going nowhere till you tell me what's happening. Get back in line. <laughs> With his arms out like that. Oh yeah. Come yeah. On. Come on, Superman.
two minutes. He looks like Greg Kinnear. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> That's not. It's a fine look for Superman. Eh, I mean, these inmates are irredeemable. They're thieves, rapists, murderers, like the Joker. That's the problem with fighting for truth and justice. The battle never ends. And executing them will end it. I mean, First technically, Joker. yes. But now this. When does it stop? When there's no more crime. When people can live without fear. We want the same thing, Bruce. I wanted to kill my parents' murderer. I could have. But that's not the life they wanted for Damien. me. Damien. And it's not the life Lois would want for you. Don't you put that on me. A red solar grenade. To dull your powers, you need to stop. Take time to grieve before it's too late. You wouldn't. No! You're supposed to be my friend. Which is why I have to stop you. All right. Nope. All right. That's fair. How about a little bit of this? Nope. <laughs> How about some of this? Nope. That's okay. <laughs> Doing terribly. Doing terribly. Stop it. Well, you are fighting Superman. Right. Doing terribly is just something you should expect. From fighting Superman. Yes. Absolutely. Kryptonite punch. You have a soup de doop. Oh, fuck you. You fucked the soup de doop up? Well, he blocked. You can block the soup de doop. I'm gonna hit you with my. Because, like, technic technically speaking, my kryptonite punch should just kill him, right? Like. You should have put it on the easiest mode. You actually have to learn the basics of the game if you want to play on normal. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that's true. Too late? Ah, uh, no, I can probably go back. If I if I lose to the Superman fight, then I, I will. Okay. Just so we can get through the story. Nope. Okay. All right. Sad thing about Injustice 2 is that this good Superman doesn't come back to save the day, so it really ruins the image of this character even more. Well, this is supposed to be weird alternate universe Superman, so I'm okay with it. Yeah. That's 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 kind of the whole point of this is like a big old what if. Oh, oh okay. Quit the main menu. <laughs> Can I reach you? Nope. To tell me the I truth. love evil Superman because he's he? such a shit boring character that being evil actually Sub makes it interesting. Ah, 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 ah. Good Superman can be done right. It's it. just not about beating people in the face. Right. You don't you don't emphasize that. Oh, you know what? I've been completely not using Y at all. No, whoopsie. So where does he beat people then? He he saves people. That's that's Superman shtick, which like I I understand like in in this oh in these modern times all these kids wants is murder and death and mayhem, but Superman's old school. He just wants to save people. Yeah, yeah. He stops the bank robbers. <laughs> he stops the bank robbers, but then the bank robbers take a hostage, so Superman goes, whoa. All right.
Okay. Stop it. Superman has to find a way to stop all of the helicopter drones with the explosives while also putting out the fire in that skyscraper at yes. the same time. He, he, like, his tough choice is choosing who to save. Oh. Or how to save them both. Yes. Oh, fuck. It's actually, like, the, one of the, one of the, like, two interesting things they did in the, uh, in the Superman Returns movie. Yeah. Is, uh, that scene where he was... Uh, floating above the earth oh, oh. and he had to chew he had to fuck you Superman yes uh, Chad all-star Superman is kind of amazing fuck it. Ah, damn it you know what fuck you who wrote that Frank quietly was the artist how did I get here I don't know how you got there I don't fucking know what's going on I need to start a whole new game, by the way. If uh, if I want to, uh, it won't let me change the difficulty mid-game. Okay. Oh no! Fuck! No! Fuck! Damn it! Should you start again on easy? I that's what I wanted to do, but I accidentally hit continue, and now oh it's not going to let me skip oh the goddamn my, thing. Oh Tell my god! Oh Where my god! No! Or look into options. I did. I thought. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Right. Which is why I have to stop you. All right. So we have resume, move list, control preset, or main menu, which is leaving the game. Unless it's in controller preset. Grant Morrison wrote All Star Superman. Thank you, chat. And then move list. So no, I have to. I do have to go back because uh, I'm just not going to be good enough for uh, for normal. Oh, here we go. Story difficulty. <laughs> you know, you know what you should do. I know I no. should do this. <laughs> I should do very easy, but we're just going to take it down one notch. Jack's pride will be his downfall. Just take it down one notch and see if we can uh <laughs> if we can uh <laughs> do somewhat better on just easy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's very easy, like, the character just stands still and lets you, tell you the hit truth. them. Probably. Where is it? Eh, if you just want the story. Naughty dog mode? So Naughty dog mode, yeah. Like, the other character just moves you in slow motion so you can see him. all their attacks he coming. Needs you. And I had an idea. You know, you know what I, I want to see? Hmm. Naughty dog's Pac-Man. Naughty dog's Pac-Man? Yeah. Okay. Which is why Pac-Man with very little gameplay and a lot of scripted events where the ghosts talk. Where the ghosts talk and... Pac-Man has to, you know, escort Miss Pac-Man around and they talk about the state of their relationship while slowly... You move slower during this section, you slowly eat the dots. I like it. <laughs> little button prompts. The section where you have to eat the ghost monsters and you walk over by the... The power pellet, and then the game pauses, and there's like the, the X prompt comes on the screen, and you hit X to eat the power pellet. So the ghosts turn blue. <laughs> Rethink your strategy. Now. The problem is. Like, even just going down to regular easy. Yeah. So far, I'm, you know, it's pretty easy. Your powers don't matter. Did I enjoy any of Naughty Dog's early stuff at all? Oh, look! Um, Crash Bandicoot's great! Really? I did not much care for Crash Bandicoot. Oh, Crash Bandicoot's fine! Ah. I will pulverize you. I did not much care for Crash Bandicoot. Jack and Daxter, eh. Kind of standard. 
standard platformer of that era. Look who the first I one and the second one was like psychopath. How many women have you killed? <laughs> hundred twenty-one. A hundred and twenty-one. Huh? Sounds incorrigible to me. Why? Robin, said, no, let him go. Said, I mean, this you guy's got a fucking knife to your throat. Yeah. What kind of stupid I'm fucking criminal is this? Son? Oh, Zaj. You that makes sense. Me. The League of Assassins did. <laughs> Problem solved. Who's next? Damn it, Damien! Then stay on your side, Batman. I'll be on Superman's. Damien. This is why no one likes you, Damien. You're kind of a dickhead. Oh. See, I'm not a big reader of the comics, so I, I have I have really no no room to complain. Yeah. But does anybody like Damien? I mean, someone does because he's still around. Shit, what was that? He sounds like an obnoxious character. Who's Damien? Damien Wayne. The current Robin is Batman's son with Talia al Ghul. You know, the daughter of that terrorist who wants to kill half of all human life. Yeah. And and he, she she had Damien without Batman knowing. And he was raised by the League of Assassins. And uh, now and, he's and Robin. Now he's Batman's spoiled, kind of bloodthirsty kid. Yeah. Who was a Robin. Uh, you know, it probably leads to some interesting dynamics, you know, like this, you know, Damien wants to just yeah. murder people and Batman says, no, don't murder people. But how many times can you have that conversation? As someone who never liked the Robin character, any yeah. of them really, like for Batman alone, he just seems like a super obnoxious version of Robin. Sure. And one who can't just go away because he's Batman's blood relative. Yeah. Here comes the rush down. <laughs> You're still a step slow. You can't get rid of the character of Damian Wayne without making Batman even more of a horrible person. So you're just stuck with him. <laughs> Damian, Damian Wayne's is is the the Batman equivalent of herpes. <laughs> Damian Wayne. Damian Wayne's. Wayne's. Well, that is, after he gets done fighting crime, after Batman kicks him out, he joins the Wayne brothers. <laughs> The Wayne's brothers and does some comedy movies. You see. <laughs> That's enough. Let's go. But the inmates. Not today. Bye. I mean, to be fair, Batman, they keep getting out, you know? It's been years since the regime fell. Superman's behind bars. Damien, my own son, is there with him. Oh, wait. But we can't so in this timeline, does everyone know he's Batman? Uh, yeah. I thought your goal was to reassure people, Mr. Wayne. You're not alone in rebuilding Gotham and Metropolis. But if we don't change some minds soon... Thought that's why you hired that overpaid PR firm, Lucius. Convincing folks to move back to these cities is a lot harder when they're afraid someone's gonna knock them down again. Superman's never getting out. I made that clear. But Wonder Woman, Black Adam, Aquaman, they're still out there why, somewhere. Why, why, and why, why would you assume that? Prosecution. That Superman's never getting out? Why, 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 why would you assume that? Well, well let me tell you, Clarence. Huh? I, I made me a Superman jail. How, how many times has the Joker, a normal man with bleached skin, who's very susceptible to skin cancer, escaped a maximum security prison? No, no, I built a better prison. How, how, how often does that happen, Batman? Oh, uh, at, at count, uh, uh, right now, 372 times. <laughs> Times. <laughs> that would be your other job. <laughs>
But Superman definitely couldn't get out, right? Right? Nobody wins all by themselves. Not even you. Why is it important that he's susceptible to skin cancer? It's not! It's just, I mean, that's his only superpower! He's just a dude! Superman is fucking Superman! Thanks for coming on short notice. Right. You're lucky we found a sitter. Nah. Nah. Wait, isn't Green Arrow dead in this universe? Fuck. This is a different universe. Maybe this is before he died. My great grandfather oh, built the original Gotham Underground. But these days, it's the Batcave. Because this, this is this isn't our Earth, eye. right? This is a different Earth. Yeah, yeah. More like the Eye of Sauron. Surveillance hub. More than that, a communications hub, linking every satellite and server on the planet. It warns us when trouble's coming, and guides us when trouble's here. Must take a real genius to operate. I don't know about genius, but I do got a PhD. A world away. You know, the that voice and that nice. character model just does not go well together. Called, I don't like it. I don't well. like it. So what's up? Yeah, it's not the this worst Harley I've seen. Created gaps in it, it's just security. with the realistic the body pack. rendering. You can't We're talk like this! Because real Harley, people don't talk like that. Right -o, bats. <laughs> well, the whole point is she's nuts. Gorilla yeah. Glide. Everyone's favorite talking ape. He's got himself a band of The question is, why would you trust her? <laughs> That's the real question. Is she a good guy in this one? In this universe? Big. I forget. Well, they're not putting her in jails! We don't know. <laughs> I can only presume! Scarecrow's gonna ship Grot a buttload of fear gas from a hideout in Slaughter Swamp. Very mosquito-y. Good thing I packed my bug spray. I need you three to stop that gas before it gets to Grod. Not joining us for the party? Unfortunately, I can't leave Gotham. You two are real whiny today. Public. This game is very good. It is a quality piece of entertainment. I will say nothing amusing. I know I'm the new guy. To in order to not offend your sensibilities. She's a different person. Enjoyment. Mostly. Enjoyment. Enjoyment. He just said a name I recognize, Rich. <laughs> I know thing. I know thing. He Yay. just talked about the Joker. Yay, I know thing. I like the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Purging system of fun. Can they move any faster? I don't need Grodd taking my head off because your boys are too slow. Fear not, Deadshot. We'll be ready for tomorrow's attack. Tomorrow. Cheeky monkey. Oh, you know, I started reading, speaking of who I think is coming up here. Yeah. I, I started reading, um... Oh, I thought this was going to be Swamp Thing. Because, <laughs> you know, they're in the swamp. <laughs> right. I started reading that Swamp Thing book that you were talking about, the, uh, the Root of All Evil. Is that the one you were talking about? I don't know, about? that's what I was talking about. I haven't talked about Swamp Thing much. No, I know, you... You, you sure it was me? Oh, someone. someone. I mentioned, like, Alan Moore taking over. And the first story he did. Oh, okay. Well, where no, he revamped Swamp Thing's origins. Was supposed to better care for the well, oh, well, then uh, someone else might have recommended it to me after that conversation. Okay. It's, it's a Swamp Thing book, and I think it's called The Root of All Evil. And it is too nuts for me, man. It's all just about, uh, it's all just about the, the guy who is Swamp Thing, the, the man who is Swamp Thing, yeah. going on a drug-addled trip to try to figure out what's real and what's Swamp Thing, and it's just nothing but him doing drugs and freaking out for eight issues. It's terrible. Wait, the man who was Swamp Thing? Did the, the, they, the, they re redo Swamp Thing's origin? Because the one, the only story I've read from Swamp Thing yeah. is the first one Alan Moore wrote, where he retconned his origin, like did an autopsy on Swamp Thing, and realized he never was a man. He was just a plant who thought 
he was someone else. Oh, okay. Well, then this might have been after it because this... Yeah, so this is a, a re-revamp of that. Because then it was the man or the man god trying to be a man again, but the drugs had taken over, and uh, and uh, the the god part of him was like a, like killing people in the swamp. Oh shit! Oh shit! Stop it! He's an ivy. Oh, did that not work? <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Chat, if I want to see Batman as a ninja, I will just go watch literally any other Batman cartoon ever made. That's that's kind of Batman's whole shtick. <laughs> you see? I, I mean, the, the Batman anime looks interesting. <laughs> I assume that's what they're talking about. Yeah. Because that's... All they talk about is uh, is you and anime. Shit. Oh crap. Eh. They say you're wasting your supity dupes when they already have no health. Oh yeah, and I I, I realized that too late. Yeah, that's good. Don't know if I want to kill you or kiss you. I realized that no too late. I used my super dupe and it didn't get to do the fun thing because they're too long. Now. Face your fears. Batman Ninja is full on schlock. I used to have this stuff for kicks. Then you'll appreciate. an interesting way to do Scarecrow. He gives people fear gas so He's... he can have a different character design? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, that's right. That's right. I remember they have uh, environmental things. Oh, shit. Hey, how come I couldn't do that? Get him, dog. <laughs> That's a good scarecrow costume. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. It might be a little bit too beefy, but not, I, you know, it works because it's a hallucination. Yeah. <clears throat> Agile characters jump off stuff. Strong characters throw stuff. Haha, wasted your supity doop. That's a shame, I want to see it. <laughs> right? Kicking your ass. I noticed, Rich! Kicking your ass, Jack! When are you gonna get tired of kicking your ass? Of him kicking my ass? I am already tired of it. Does that count? <laughs> I'm trying to get some space in between so I can throw my dog at him again. Oh, god damn it. No! Told Jack to get hit by all the supers so we can see them. <laughs> At least once, right? Yeah, You're yeah. Right. That's true. Not done yet. Oh, 
I should have. I should have let me hit let him hit me with the super. Though then I'd probably be dead. Cause even though I'm playing uneasy, it's still a little too much for me. Was Jeffrey Combs Scarecrow in Batman the Animated Series? I don't remember that. I can see it. Uh, no. Shock, shocking would be that I didn't notice, if, if that's true. And I have no real reason to doubt it. I mean, no. it's possible. I, I'm trying to place the voice. Maybe maybe in a different batch. Maybe not animated Such series. Oh, he was in the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series. He did uh, The Rat King. Jeffrey Combs. <laughs> Trying to see what Batman he was in. Oh, Harley. Always such a disappointment. Why do I bother? He was Kite Man in Batman the Brave and the Bold. <laughs> if that counts. Supposedly he's in this. Oh, he was in Justice League Unlimited. Hey, classic Carl. Look at that. Jim Marley. No, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> doing great, Jack. You're doing great. I feel like I'm doing great. I'm trying to grab him. Grab him. God damn it. Grab him. Son of a bitch. I'll let him, if he gets a super, I'll let him hit me with it. Because. Uh, if you're gonna win, I don't know. Uh, I, I, had I had decent health. Shit. Shit. Well, now I just might lose anyway. Oh. oh. Ow. Fuck. Oh, he Jason totted it. <laughs> Cleaned your clock, though. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I'm, we might need to jump it down very easy. Well, I'm assuming you I'm presuming you let yourself get hit at the end there. I well, I did. I I I was okay with getting hit, but I mean, in general, no, they're kicking my ass. It's just how out of practice I am with fighting games in general. But I'll get there. I, if I, I would do no better. I, I'm shit at fighting games. Oh, well, and you know, this is just like kind of Last Injustice, where it just took me a while. Nope. Jack, I made a tactical decision to lose Packers. That's right. That's absolutely right. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome, everyone. Nice. Commissar Dunge says, big fan from Russia. Got a question for Rich. Did you read the early 2000s run on Amazing Spider-Man by Straczynski? It was different, but presented Peter as a mature teacher 
and focused on him dealing with more magical stuff. I liked his character arc. Check it out, please. No, I, I, I was very fond of that run up until you got to Gwen Stacy's Goblin Babies, and then it suddenly turned to shit. <laughs> But right before, until then, until that one specific moment, he had a great run and amazing. Gwen Stacy's Goblin Babies. Yes. She had sex with Norman Osborn and gave fa gave birth to rapidly aging, aging Goblin Babies. And, you know, I just... I, I'm so they can sure, get old enough to fight Peter, of course. I'm sure that happened. Uh, I just love the phrase Gwen Stacy's Goblin Babies. Rapidly aging Goblin Babies. If you know, like, if you want a band name, Gwen Stacy's Gwen Stacy's Goblin Babies, Gwen Stacy and the Goblin Babies, that's your band name. Oh, there he is. Fight him as someone else. I've been fighting as Harley a lot. Bad. I care little for humanity, but I do care when my swamp burns. Oh no, is this that horrible Terra Strong Harley? I don't think she's terrible. I, I don't think Terra Strong, because she does, she's the original voice actress, right? No, I don't think so. Isn't that Terra no. Strong? Oh. No, no, definitely wasn't. It was, uh. Who's the original? I'm drawing a blank on her name, but. Chat! I thought it was Terra Strong. What was her name? Uh, fuck, fuck, man. Arlene Sorkin, thank you, chat. I'm trying to build... I believe, she was, I believe she was a friend of Paul Dini's. Okay. And uh, Arlene Sorkin was in a soap opera once, and in some kind of fantasy sequence on the soap opera, she was dressed up like a jester. Ah. Which inspired the character... Sure. ...of Harlene Quinzel. I'm, I'm trying to let him... I have a decent enough health where I'm trying to let him do his super de dupe on me. So the character was created specifically for the original voice actress. Come on, hit me. Fine. If Jack makes a perfect round without losing health, I will donate ten bucks. <laughs> Now Not gonna happen, my friend, but, you know, I appreciate the incentive. Even by comic book standards, Swamp Thing is weird. Everybody's so ugly. Why is everybody so ugly, Rich? Because they want you to buy new costumes. Look at this thing. Look at the shoulder pads. 
Wait, when did she arrive? Where did she come she from? She just she just showed up. Where was the rocket ship? Where were you? Just in the clouds, listening. If someone saw you. How many times have we told you? It's too dangerous outside Kondok. I spent decades lost in space, stuck in hypersleep until Adam found my ship. And now I'm cooped up here. How can we make you more comfortable? Let me out. Diana, you've taught me what my powers can do. This world needs help. Earth's people are so divided. They're always fighting. That's the world. She's got now nothing on the CW Supergirl. Melissa Benoit is uh, yeah, is uh, quite the Supergirl. Ready. Absolutely. I'm not afraid of or Benoist. I don't know how you pronounce her name. I like I Benoit because that sounds, you know, hands. light and so French and cousin. fluffy. What? Like a beignet. But it's, it's spelled what like Benoist. Powers if I can't even help Kal-El? <laughs> we will, Kara. Like you yes, I would presume there were a time yeah. jump. I'm just kind of curious how she got here. She was floating. That's all. She was doing the whole uh, floating thing. All right, hold on. We were looking up Jeffrey Combs. And whether or not he played anything on Batman the Animated Series. He was the Scarecrow and Dr. Jonathan Crane on the new Batman Adventure. I did not notice. So, what? Not the animated series, the new Batman Adventure. Well, it was like the last season. Oh, okay. So he wasn't the original Scarecrow. Okay, maybe that's why I didn't notice yeah. then. Yeah, yeah. But be wary of running into other members of his society. They're more coordinated than we knew. Next stop, Gorilla City. Guess I better call the sitter. Mommy and Daddy that was the season where they changed all of the um, character designs. Oh. I like I like that version of Batman. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't know if That's I remember. That's slick. It. The black cape, like this. the really dark black cape and all. I don't know if I remember that one. Oh. Your family too, Bruce. I couldn't be there to finish the fight against Superman. Wasn't so fond of the Joker's redesign. That's where they gave him the black eyes with the white pupils. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. I definitely remember that. But I thought the redesign of Batman himself was just sweet. Hmm, okay. Yeah, everybody looks a little off. Like, even their faces. Like, just nothing looks eh. right. I just think some of the costume designs are really ugly. Yeah. Our time has come. I mean, that's Gorilla Grodd. I'm gonna let him get away with it because, you know, he's a monkey, and so, alright. No more regime. No more Justice League. Today, the world welcomes. I love his I love his big gorilla pot belly. <laughs> what is that Chitara? Bane Chitara. Poison Ivy, Captain Cold, Catwoman. Today, we show the world that we are superior. Is that Bane? I Today, guess it is. He's got a tube in his head. We bring anyone who would dare stand against us to their knees. Yeah, that's all right. That's an all right collection of baddies. I'm gonna be okay with that. Low self-esteem, not that guy's problem. You want to see them mess up Solomon Grundy? How do you fuck up Solomon Grundy? What do you mean? In this game. What? Oh, how do you make with, him look with uglier? A, with an injustice style costume. How you get, do you oh, do yeah. that with Grundy? You give him like some sort of like armor helmet. For no reason, he's just wearing armor? Yeah, and a helmet. Yeah. And, like a knight's helmet. <laughs> Or like instead of like the... Like football shoulder pads? Yes, that's how you do it. Instead of like the classic torn suit. Yeah, silver football shoulder pads. <laughs> and a football helmet. And jorts. <laughs> as long as we have a common agenda, Captain Cold, you have nothing to fear. You mean as long as we follow your orders? Report, Deadshot. We're ready to move out. Good dog. Now go tell the others. Cheetah, cold. Oh, Build Cheetah. Uh, isn't her name Cheetara? Or is that a Thundercat? That's, I think that that's might a be a Thundercat. Thundercat. They're the same character. 
the 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 sexy Maybe cheetah lady. Time you spilled the identity of our silent partner, since we're relying so much on him or her. He will soon make his presence known, but for now. First, a few words from the brave and the bold. <laughs> I'm the brave one, right? I'm not bold enough to disagree. The saboteurs of Slaughter Swamp, I presume. <laughs> Handle this. I call first dibs. You know... Oh, uh, Black Knight. Lady fight. A traitor again, Selena. I'm okay with what? Selena's redesign here with the, with the cat ears and the goggles. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, I mean, the, the rest of her outfit looks ugly, but uh, whoever gave her that initial redesign, I'm okay with. Oh, what was that? She's uglier than she was in the Ark of Gags. Nope. Okay. Nope. Stop it. Yug one says. But doesn't media mirror the culture it is? Star Trek had Kirk at height of Cold War, and Next Gen was after Cold War was almost over. Now it's just mirroring the overall pessimism. What? I don't know, I'm assuming we're talking about Star Trek Discovery now, which is... Oh, just overall pessimism? Uh... But that's contrary to the nature of Star Trek. Even, even though, like, original Star Trek was, you know, Cold War era, it was still about hope and humanity coming together. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Come on, use your super D. I have decent health. Did we miss the Shaq Fu stream for YouTube? That's on me if we did. You've been missing a lot of them. Yeah. Uh, so no, I, I just, don't know. I just got uh, three ready before we started. Oh, okay. Started. I, I don't know. I, I We might have, I guess. That was pretty recent, though, right? Yeah. It's been a been busy couple weeks around here. <laughs> That's true. I let her hit me because I, I, I can take it. Nah. Motorcycle? Uh, Alright. I used uh, Canary's one and I honestly uh, don't know what it was. So I forgot what it was. Lives. Maybe I missed it. Oh, that was graceful, Ollie. Bane. That's even an ugly Bane. And Bane's like usually pretty ugly. Yeah. One of us needs to distract him while the other snips his tubes. Ouch. His venom tubes, Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> How kind of Batman sending his underlings. I will enjoy returning you to him in body bags. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh no, uh, we'll be Green Arrow this time. I'll distract him. You take snipping. It'd be great. Pa cut. Power Rangers Bane? Yes, that's exactly what he is. Spine will break like this. Now you done. That was my favorite arrow. Uh. How, do, how do people keep fucking up? Where's the Luchid Lucador Luchador mask? Whoa. Apparently I hit the start button. Ow. Arkham Origins may be the only game that has done Bane justice. Oh yeah? Yeah. Picked up an antelope and threw it at me. I know, I know it's... Mind if I take a selfie? It sucks that they didn't get Kevin Conroy or Mark Hamill for Arkham Origins. Yeah. 
and the overworld is just blatantly the Arkham City overworld, but if you care about story in games, <laughs> it's the best in the series. Mm. Use your super D. Ow. Come on, use your super. Thought you liked Bane in Arkham City. He's barely in Arkham City. He kind of has a extended. He has, a, he has almost. It's almost a cameo in Arkham City, and it's the same Bane that was in uh, Arkham Asylum, which was probably the dumbest version of Bane. Our Arkham Origins is the one that does Bane justice. Yeah, Arkham Asylum Bane was uh, was big dumb monster yeah. who, who ran at super, you. Super stupid. Yeah. And just, <laughs> me crash into wall. <laughs> <laughs> me so stupid, me run right into wall, Batman. Rawr. Henceforth referred to as Tarzan Bane. Yeah. Yeah. Now where's that damn dirty ape? <laughs> I come to you as darkness falls. Dr. Fate? Dinah Lance, Oliver Queen. In the past, I have shielded you from danger, but a grave crisis looms, and I do not know if Dr. I can stop Fate. it. You mean Grodd and I'm kind of burned out cover. on Conroy and Hamill. Greater master. Why should I? I guess I should let this finish. I have foreseen it. Leave with me now, while I can still save you. If that's the case, we're staying here. Batman will need our help. Everyone and everything you know will die. I will shepherd you to safety, lest you suffer the same fate. By force, if necessary. The good doctor's been wearing that helm for too long. Then let's help him out of it. Watch my back. Talk to your family. should not have returned to Batman. He's just an ugly character. Like, you are not <laughs> in general, like, I don't know if I want to blame this game. Well, like a, like a big dumb helmet. Okay, sick of Conroy and Hamill. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't foresee that happening. I don't foresee myself. Someone in the chat saying they're sick of them. I, I just don't see myself getting sick of them as those characters. Right. As long as they're still writing good stories for them. Right. Oh yeah. I mean that's that's the important part, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up Bane and visually uh, what he looks like in Arkham Origins and see if I'm not just. I'm thinking of that game with rose-tinted glasses. Somebody saying Bane doesn't look that different here than he did in Origins. Ooh. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do me an, an image search right now. Do it. Yeah, you know what? His mask is kind of shitty. Other than the mask, though, I like the rest of his outfit in Origins. But the, you're right, the mask is shit. Yeah. Yeah. Not on my watch. They wrote him right, though. He feels like Bane in Arkham Origins. He's not just smash wall and crush. So you know what, chat, chat gets a point. For Ugly Bane? For, for me, kind of misremembering. Sure. Okay. The hero's fate is suffering. I want to do at least my super to do. There we go. 
Oh, lame. I I'm not it. abandoning Batman. Bane is Batman's best villain when he's done right. Uh, I mean, first of all, that I wouldn't. I wouldn't go as far as saying the best. That statement can be said just about anyone, right? Like, like this is his best villain when he's done right. He's a damn good villain when done right. Really had you going. <laughs> I lost control of Naboo, the spirit of the helm. Thanks to you, I'm back in charge. For now, I have to go consult my masters, the Lords of Order. Pray they'll intervene before it's too late. Too late for what, Kent? What's going down? The Lord's magic bars me from saying more. I have changed fate too many times. This planet's destiny is no longer clear. What comes next? Mere mortals cannot stop. For better or worse, your fate rests in the gods' hands. That was... Spooky. Yeah. Come on, let's find Grodd and get the hell out of here. What's the best Scarecrow-centered Batman story? Alright, here's the sad truth. Arkham Knight, and he's not even really the central villain of that story. We're happy to check out, but you're coming with us. Fighting a talking ape wasn't enough. Had to throw in telekinesis. Give us a song to soothe these savage beasts. Ah, uh, I forgot to bring my banana arrow. Wait, you eat bananas, right? Or is that an offensive stereotype? She's in! Read Cycle of Violence, Rich. Okay, look, I'll grant you, there's a lot of Scarecrow stories I haven't read. <laughs> so. Oh, sure. Kicking your no no, no I'm kicking white, his white, ass. Is, white is good never mind white is good I'm I'm waiting for him I'm trying to oh here we go I'm doing I'm doing good enough where I can let him do his soupy I was thinking white was empty ah that would be that would be normal yeah oh that's a super lame soupy <clears throat> yeah. God. But then again, he is Gorilla Grodd, so you know he's probably he's probably not high on the list of giving an awesome superpower to. Like, eh, Green Arrows is kind of underwhelming too. Hey, he shoots the arrow, it does a flippy thing. It's fine. It's I'll, I'm gonna be okay with it. Oh. <laughs> he's desperately trying to work those arrows into a melee fighting game. Guts to. <laughs> Guts to, man. It's all he's got. It's just all he's got. He can he can hit people with his uh with his uh, bow and arrow. And that's about it, man. That's about it. <laughs> I was just trying to be PC. Also, his snark is, is getting on my nerve already, so I, I really hope we switch characters soon. So he's not good at the snark, huh? You know, he's trying. He's trying. Oh, look, they brought along giant oversized gorilla handcuffs. What? Let's call it a day and get Harley out of here. <laughs> it's never good when you slap the cuffs on and then they start chuckling. Humans. 
<laughs> you've won this battle, but you've already lost the war. Oh no. That's what I'm saying. Where did he keep those giant gorilla handcuffs? Did we know this? When we when we got when we were playing Injustice One, which takes place after this, did we know that Brainiac showed up at one point? I think we are now after Injustice One. What? And we have jumped around in the timeline. I, uh, I got nothing. <gasps> oh yeah, that's right. Warrants for the study. You are correct. They had a super duper flashback to let you know about Supergirl. Right. And then they had a normal old flashback to let you know that Batman felt bad about Robin. <laughs> Green skin. And, and then we are in normal time. Now we're time. in normal time. Okay, no problem. John Johns? My point of origin was a thousand light years removed from Mars on the planet Kolu. I am Brainiac. Jeffrey Combs. This is Jeffrey Combs? Yeah. The Combs. The Combs! Use your voice! There we go. That's your whole thing. Stop! Please! Cause and effect. Resistance begets violence. Then we won't resist. Please, just stop! The... You're the grave crisis we were warned about. What do you want? I seek the one you call Superman. For years, I Ooh, believed I Oh, no, they didn't kill him. <laughs> they, they just arrested him. Like, how awkward we just killed him. I am Superman so sorry. <laughs> we have a Supergirl. We have a Superman's Batman. No I am aware. <laughs> Do they know about Supergirl? Oh, I wonder. Yeah, I wonder if are fascinating. We'll never serve you. Serve? I am no petty despot. I collect worlds, preserving their essential knowledge to enhance my intellect. And then I discard the remnants. Why? Your species values precious metals, <laughs> arbitrary symbols of status. Uh, everyone's I value so ugly. Knowledge. And like your metal trinkets, knowledge is more valuable when it is rare. <laughs> so is the story of Injustice 2 gonna be we have to break Superman out of prison so he can help us fight Brainiac? <coughs> is that what it's gonna be? Superman's gonna re- evil Superman is gonna redeem himself? Brother, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming? Give me an update on the team at Gorilla City. I know stuff about I the story. Oh, okay. Bruce Wayne of Earth. I saw Why some not? stuff way before we even uh, <laughs> streamed the first one. Okay. So I know answers to things All right. I could spoil. But I, I guess won't. we'll wait and see. You cannot regain control. Over the past days, Brother I has been absorbed into my neural network. It is now an extension of my mind. What does he look like? You, a he kind of looks like a derpy John Ham. And imprisoned. This Bruce Wayne. Developed male I mean, everyone looks a little bit derp in this, so but. Fragile. To prevail, you harnessed advanced sciences, nanotechnology. Satellite communications, interdimensional transits. I am taking these tools from you. Why? The Kryptonian belongs to me. And soon... The Kryptonian? So will your planet. Wouldn't it be funny if they were pronouncing it wrong the whole time? Because nobody really knew. Brainiac, who was around at the time, was the only one saying it right. Kryptonian. Kryptonian. I want the Kryptonian. What? We've been calling him Kryptonian. Why? He's from Krypton. The Kryptonian. And Superman's, oh, I only saw it in print. It was, it was on my ship. Oh, I just... Uh, 
Whew. <laughs> Pronounced well, it wrong we, the whole time. What do we do here, guys? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Kryptonian. Krypton. Krypton. That's what that's what it is. Krypton. I want the Kryptonian. The Kryptonian. From Krypton. What? <laughs> Krypton? <laughs> no, you're missing the W. It's actually Kryptown. That was a misprint on the manual on Clark's jet. Great on Hera. Where else besides Metropolis? Gotham, Beijing. Moscow. It's a quirk of the Kryptonian dialect that there is a non-silent invisible W yes. in the middle of the word. Kryptown uh, is not well known <laughs> for its linguistic <laughs> abilities. <laughs> Why are you guys all looking at me weird? <laughs> I was on Kryptown. We need to get Cal. <laughs> now. Ooh. Look at this one. Look at this. This is an even uglier Wonder Woman outfit. What was what was the Marlon Brando pronunciation? Oh, I don't remember. Someone someone saying is oh oh they went with the Marlon Brando pronunciation. Ah. Is he the first one to pronounce it Krypton? You're wearing a suit. Am I in trouble again? Brainiac, what can you tell me? How do you know that name? You're afraid of him. He's invading. He says you belong to him. Brainiac killed my parents. He blew up Krypton. You never mentioned that before. How do I beat him? You can't. Not without me. Uh. I'll find a way. This is my fight, Bruce! You need me! Bruce! 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 Brando said Krypton? Hm. Huh. Culture Fist says, here are some superhero names I made up. Sticky Man, Green Boy, Frog Guy, The Human Muffin, Now You Try. I like, I like Sticky Man. I stick to things. Man, you got, you got nothing on the tick. Culture Fist. Yeah. You got nothing on the tick. Feral Boy, The Human Carpet. I don't know, Barry. The human bullet. Out. It's a fun one. The it's human No, not the human bullet. Fire me, boy. Fire me, boy. Fire me, boy. People treating you well. Let's just say people here aren't thrilled to live in close quarters with the Flash, convicted regime criminal. Pardoned regime criminal. Give it time. They'll come around. Wait, who's pardoned criminal? The Flash. Who is that guy? Ah. I don't know who this one is because everyone looks so ugly. I can't tell who they're supposed to be. Oh, I presume the Flash has a biddy. He's got all sorts of biddies. LW base. How fast can you get to Metropolis? My pardon agreement was pretty clear on no powers. You think that matters when aliens are invading? You helped tear down the regime, Barry. That's why Mr. Wayne asked me to take you on. And if Batman thinks you earned a second chance, who are you to argue? Cramp, cramp, haven't run in a while. Cramp, oh shit. Uh, uh. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fire me, boy, is great. Fire me, boy, is great. faster I'm, I'm not gonna lie that should have been a little bit faster what do you mean that's pretty 
predicted. Barry Allen has returned to action. The task force is ready. I'll enjoy this. Oh, that's right. Gorilla, Gorilla Grodd is a Flash villain. Mm-hmm. How are you... Come on. How are you able to see that? Oh, and the Flash is out of the game. All right. Bye. Nice aim, Deadshot. Just get the job done. That knee ain't healing super fast at absolute zero. For God's sake, Colt, look around! Yeah, crazy day. Kind of like when Superman went nuts and you went right along with him. Punish me later. To be fair, we have yeah, to help these innocent Remember that? People. You killed a lot of people. The same innocent people who cheered Superman when he executed my friends? My sister? I'm sorry, Colt. But you never hurt civilians. You're better than that. Once upon a time, I was. Oh. Okay. I don't, I don't understand the comics. What's, what's, what's someone called Captain Cold gonna do against the Flash? What's anybody gonna do against the Flash? Uh, right. Captain Cold uses his cold powers to slow him down. <laughs> he can outrun the cold beams. He's the Flash. You would think, yes. But... <laughs> Apparently that is not always the case. See, like, look, oh, he gets yeah. so cold. Oh, that's neat. Comic books are dumb, Rich. Yeah. <laughs> also, yeah. All right. This gun I'm not reading the comics, so I don't get this. But as as we know, the Batman is going to have a temporary marriage to Catwoman. Yes. Correct. Of course. Here's the thing. I was reading a little bit about this. It sounds like Batman is marrying Catwoman rather than Bruce Wayne marrying Selina Kyle. Wait, say that again? It sounds like the costumed identities are the identities that are getting hitched. But Batman can't sign a legal contract, as far as I'm aware. Because the Joker is trying to get an invitation to the wedding, uh -huh. and Superman is going to be the best man. Wait, Superman, not Clark Kent. Y yes. So they're doing... Unless I've read things wrong. Guess we both let each other. It sounds like they're doing the wedding in costume. Which is the silliest fucking thing I've ever heard. That's it. That's the silliest thing I've heard. Yes, absolutely. Bruce Wayne is not marrying Selina officially. It's just symbolic, kinda. Then what? <laughs> so wait, is Batman symbolically marrying Catwoman? And what's the symbolism for? I don't know. I I don't care. I I stopped reading that shit ten years ago. The whole alien invasion plan. We gotta help Dinah and Ollie. We will. First, we need to get back to Gotham. If there's anything left of it. The costumes are getting married, right? Might as well be that. Running a little slow, Flash. Retirement will do that to you. <laughs> What's with you, Lawton? You should be fighting this invasion. Got no choice. Grand for a nano explosive in my head. His paws on the trigger. Ah! That's neat. What, stabbing himself to stab yeah. the Flash? Yeah. So whether I like it or not, I gotta do Grunt's dirty work. But now you're horribly stabbed, and 
And the Flash and has... The Flash just got shot in the knee, so I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> uh, the Flash has super healing power, so it doesn't really matter. It's, it's all fine. They get to fight. It's, a bit on, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. It's fun to, fun to laugh. Oh, well, that's... A, you know, the comics have a bit of an absurdity to them, of course. Yes, I know. Batman's marrying Catwoman. Not in costume. In costume. It's the in costume part that's really dumb, if it really is that. Use your super. No, oh, use your super. Use your super. Did you stop reading 10 years ago, 5 years ago? Update your canned responses. A number of years when, ago. When was when was one more day? When was that? Oh god. So long ago? Bet you didn't see that coming. Use your super. Come on, use your super. Oh, oh you ran out of your super. Okay, so... My canned responses have been wrong. It'll officially be 10 years in a couple months. Oh, well, then there you go. Yeah, Flash's super is pretty neat. You go you go back in time and knock him into a past version of himself in the fight. That's yeah, fun. Okay. That's fun. I know. It's just business. Oh god, reverse flash. Quite possibly the laziest supervillain. Look, the only thing you could do with flash villains that makes sense is they're as fast as he is. Oh, right. That's the only thing you can do that makes any kind of sense. But his name is literally Reverse Flash. Didn't they change to Professor Zoom at some point? No, that is a separate villain. That's Zo what? 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 Zoom is a separate villain than Reverse Flash. I thought Flash. Professor Zoom was Reverse Flash. Well, Zoom is a, is a separate villain. I don't know if Professor Zoom is. But Zoom is a separate villain from an alternate timeline. How is this different from Bizarro? He's at least got the weird... Everything is opposite gimmick. Yeah. But yeah, it's not that different. Oh yeah, Bizarro has a bit of a personality. Zoom is Reverse Flash, who is Professor Zoom? What? <laughs> God damn it. Jack is right and wrong. Reverse Flash and Professor Zoom are the same. Zoom is an other villain. I haven't tried. Your regime buddies killed one of my ancestors. Now I'm trapped in a paradox. I can never go home. Damn it. Damn it. At least I can hurt you! Wow. That's kind of neat. He got punched so fast that he's still getting hit. Yeah, yeah. After Zoom stopped punching. Uh. That's that's kind of neat. Local men can't figure out comic book lore? Sane men can't figure out comic book lore. Yeah. And, you know, comic book lore is pretty fucked up, man. <laughs> to be fair to us...
He really should have gone back in time and prevented the Joker from causing Superman to blow up Metropolis. That would have been nice. But he's done that before and has had disastrous results. Oh, does he do the same thing? He tries not to go back in time too much because, you know, that, like, tends to lead to disasters. Mm -hmm. Don't know how many more reunions I can take. Guess I could come back later. How? Nah, hey, green ladder! No, not today. Nice to see you too, Barry. Whose dead hand you pry that ring from? You know it doesn't work that way. The ring chose me. Even after you bailed on the Guardians to join the Sinestro Corps? The Guardians locked me up. But they also trained me to overcome my fears. I earned the second chance they gave me. Guardians made a mistake. Oh, Lord. So the obligatory the heroes fight each other? Yep. Ow! the grabby thing. There you go. It's more fun that way. See, so chat, the problem with comic book lore is that it only takes a bad writer to fuck up that character's continuity forever. Forever! You do something with a... St you do something stupid with a character, that shit's there forever. Mm-hmm. You feel like... Come on, do your super D. Do your super D. Come on, I wanna see your super. Come on. Do your super! You got it! Come. Or until they do a reboot, and then you're not sure what happened and what didn't happen. Right? Kilowog would have loved that. Don't make me call Batman. Not till these boots melt. Ugh. Oh, now we're not going to get to see your superpower. Green Lantern. Shit. What do I think of the What If comics Marvel has? Uh, they're fun, and they're very specifically not in continuity, so they're safely ignored. <laughs> yeah. You were holding back, weren't you? I told you. I'm trying to make things right. I betrayed my core, my planet, and my friends. And that's the worst part. All day I've been reminded. You could have said this before we fought each other, but hey, how hard that's it's fine. Be to regain <laughs> people's trust. Guess we're both on that path. We have a long way to go, Barry. But they can also just ignore it. A bunch of writers ignored Gwen's goblin babies. <laughs> Gwen, Stacy, and the goblin babies. <laughs> you know, there's just so much you can ignore and still bring up new material. Like, if you want new material, you... you that's, a, that's a minefield, right? Like, choosing what you ignore? Yeah. I get why you don't trust me, but you should trust the Guardians. This ring means something. They put me through hell to get it back. Fine, I've got my orders. Just thought it'd help if we cooperate. Lantern, maybe All it's right, time I widened on. my circle of trust. I guess we could use a super-powered space cop. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Why would they only send one lantern to stop this genocidal He's maniac? Um, like oh, I'm sure there are genocidal maniacs on a lot of planets at the moment. Yeah. The, the universe is a big place. Full of genocidal maniacs? <laughs> yes. That's why there's the Green Lantern Corps. And so this is his job. He's got to stop the one homicidal maniac that's... That's messing with his neighborhood, right? 
next time my people's blood is spilled, it will be for Atlantis, not the surface. Oh, is that um? You're one of us too. What's his name? Your Lamar. Father, my father Lamar Burton. Lavar Bur Lavar Burton. Is to Atlantis. No not Lavar Burton. I don't trust you, Jordan. You are any surface dweller. Now leave. What's his name? Batman, stay Phil Lamar. Thank you, I Phil Lamar. Yeah. Is Kevin Conroy voicing Aquaman too? No, Aquaman is Phil Lamar. Maybe sooner than you think. He totally sounds like Kevin Conroy. Go. I don't need your distraction. No, oh, that's definitely for you. Oh. Are you turning evil already? I'm not leaving. Need I remind you whose kingdom this is? Phil, uh, what is he? He, he does a ton of voices like on Futurama. Yeah. Oh, that's neat. You think they could have asked him to sound different from Batman? Every, though everyone kind of sounds the same. Like whoever's doing this Green Lantern voice, it sounds like he's doing eight of the voices. So, oh, what did I just do? Shit! Adrian says you guys are the best, but you already knew that. Especially Rich, he definitely already knew that. I Jack, are you into funk music at all? <laughs> If you are, check out Wolfpack. What? My favorite song is Christmas in LA. Thanks for the awesome content. Love you guys. Thank you. Wolfpack. Uh, uh, you know, I've, I've listened to uh, some Parliament Funkadelic in my days. Some P-Funk All-Stars, but uh, I don't know if I could ever say that I'm a fan of funk. Just because I don't listen to a ton of it. Come on, hit me. Hit me. Hit me. There we go. Uh. Yeah, that's cute. What did he do last one? Did he like throw a shark at me? Yes. I missed it. What did he do this time? Uh, I don't know. He, he hasn't gotten his soup yet. Oh, okay. And I don't know if, he'll, if he will. Listen to reason, Arthur. I'm sorry. I, I didn't come here to fight you. That voice actor, he does a exactly ton of stuff. Whoever there. is doing the Green Lantern voice, I recognize that voice from literally like every cartoon ever. I'm trying to remember his name. They invade. Hmm. Chat, who does the voice of Green Lantern in this? Because he is everywhere. Steve Blum. Steve Blum. They're your oceans, but it's also my sector. Let me help you. He's in everything. Cover me. Oh. I, mean, I guess they <laughs> I guess they're all in everything at this point, right? All the voice actors. Yeah. They're just like, eh yeah, they're from everything. Uh, G shots, thanks for the tip. I'm just Choosing not to address that right this moment. But thank you. Hmm. hmm. I thought the only regime down here to torture would be Aquaman. Cheetah. Let's not beat around the bush. Wonder Woman's in hiding. Maybe down here. Tell me, where's your Amazon friend? Didn't you hear? I unfriended her. So yeah. did Atlantis. Liar! I don't need a golden lasso to make you tell the truth. Oh, no. okay. All right. Nope. Okay. When I hit her with my super punch. Nope. Okay. Dang it. 
Yug One says the Star Trek example from before wasn't about Star Trek, but about influence of politics on all media. Okay. Example, how the decay of the USSR created books like Solaris and Roadside Picnic, a.k.a. Stalker. Okay. I mean... I, 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 I don't have much to add on it. Yeah, like, what? what's... Are, are you saying that current events uh, help shape uh, art? Yes. And that's really all I have to add to that. Right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's the thing that happens. Fun. I want her to use her super to do. Use it. Well, don't use it now. I'm gonna die. Too wild for you. You asked for it. Shit, am I gonna get my ass handed to me from by Cheetah? Why is Wonder Woman's primary villain a big cat lady? I don't know. <laughs> DC's weird, yo. <laughs> oh shit. She didn't even do her super move. DC's really weird. Was was Cheetah an original Wonder Woman villain? I wonder. Uh, I know you don't know, Rich. I don't. Um, and you know, like, was it just because like they had such a, a lack of female villains that they're like, ah? Uh, and she's a cat. <laughs> There's a cat girl. Cat girl. Different than a uh, Catwoman from Batman. Different. Very different. Ow! Ow! Stop it. Yeah, do it. That's acceptable. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Ow. For the goddess of the hunt. For the goddess of the hunt. So is she like old school? God, too? Look, I'm fine with Wonder Woman's primary villain being a cheetah woman. Uh -huh. I know nothing about the character. She might be a super awesome character. Uh, I suppose that's true. Well, I mean, she's awesome enough to kick my ass. have just like a lot of mythological themed villains that I just don't know about? Uh, I would assume the answer to that is yes. Like you would presume Medusa, a uh, uh, Wonder Woman would have a villain, Medusa. Yes, I would presume that. Medusa would be a fantastic Wonder Woman villain. Oh good. I, I would assume that, yes. But is Medusa wrong mythology? What is, no. is is Wonder Woman uh, Greek? Yeah. Is Medusa Greek? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know nothing. I think Marvel stole, stole Medusa first. Well, it's like Thor, though. You can't copyright a My mythological creature. It's, that's public guard. domain. Right. I want to say both I comics have a Hercules, right? Yeah. Yeah. DC can have a Thor if they want. It just can't resemble Marvel's specific version of Thor. Right. So DC could easily do their own version of a Medusa. Kind of like you in a prison cell. Even as Yellow Lantern, you never showed me the proper respect. But I will show you how easily your will is broken. Wow, really? Really uh, diving into that Bane Breaks things thing, huh? 
there is a DC Medusa. Is she like a Major League Wonder Woman villain? You would assume so. Help, Bane. What? I was punching. There is Ow. more work to be done. What? God damn it, Hal. Keep missing his you stupid shit. Okay, so there is a major Wonder Woman villain, Medusa. Oh, that's great. I, w I would assume so. Then why is Cheetah the only one the public ever hears about? She's hot. <laughs> I don't know, man. I am I am going to blame uh, the people who make these cartoons and games and whatnot for only ever using Cheetah. Sure. All right. Was, Cheetah was on the uh, the Justice Friends, right? Yeah. Or the Super Friends. Yeah. yeah. Alright, now hit him with it! Fucking hell! Hit him with the thing! Oh, we did miss a tip here. Fuck yeah. Oh, fucking fuck, fuck. Fucking hell, fucking hell. Yeah. Anonymous says... Yeah. Sam, Sam Raimi or Sam Raimi? Have I been saying it wrong all this time? What? Sam Raimi or Sam Raimi? I always say Raimi. Yeah. So I don't know if I'm saying it wrong. So I've always said Raimi. And I could be easily be wrong because I say things wrong all the time. I I I say Raimi. I don't know if that is correct. So. Okay. His Spider-Man movies are marred by the fact that I cannot stand Kirsten Dunst as Mary Jane. She is annoying and just there to be saved. The one thing I'll give the Amazing Spider-Man movies is that I bought the chemistry between Gwen and Peter. I don't know that they had much chemistry, because Peter Parker in those movies is a fucking mannequin. Mm -hmm. Though Gwen was pretty good. Funny thing about Kirsten Dunst as Mary Jane is... Really, they called her Mary Jane, but... She, she, she felt more like a Gwen Stacy type to me. Hmm. She didn't feel she didn't feel much like Mary Jane from the comics. In fact, I remember some kind of interview with her. They said they gave her some old Spider-Man comic books to read. Yeah. And Dunst, and she said, "I thought I was playing the blonde one." Yeah. <laughs> that would actually make a ton more sense. Oh come on. What's the difference? Uh, Gwen Stacy is very much uh, a boring girl next door, mm -hmm. and Mary Jane Watson was kind of the bitchy party girl, but ultimately the more interesting character. Damn it! Damn it! I don't I don't know Hal's moves. I don't know the good Hal moves. <sighs> Mary Jane is a fiery redhead. Yes. Gwen Stacy, she's just Gwen Stacy. She's boring. Gwen Stacy's boring. That's why they killed her. That is why they <laughs> killed her. No, that, that is why they killed her. The writers realized all, all she was doing is she was crying about things. And sad. Because <laughs> Peter Park would fuck something up. Yep. And she was a dull character and she was a drain on the books, so they killed her off. Wake up! I feel like I finally got him on the ropes here. This could just be the game, like, seeing that I lost twice, though, and just saying, like, yeah, we'll let him win. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think of, of Gwen Stacy's, well, Gwen Stacy was interesting in the fact that her dad, Captain Stacy, 
was it was a was a, a, a believer in Spider-Man, right? Or? He was a police captain who actually knew. Well, actually, they I don't think they revealed that until they killed him off. But mm. he knew that Peter was Spider-Man. Right. Right. Well, and with all the cops against Spider-Man, there was like the one cop yeah. who was on his side yeah. who happened to be Gwen Stacy's dad. Yes. Yeah, so but then they killed him off. Right. But what I'm saying is there was a little, sure, in, sure, a little more than MJ. We're walking down the gates, but the fight's not over. Oh. Sorry, I was somewhere else. Where's this leave us? You put yourself at risk for Atlantis. Maybe you can be trusted. So you're in. I can't. I belong here, defending my people. <laughs> Instead of killing her off, couldn't they write her interesting? Like, they could have, it's just not what they chose to do. Mm -hmm. The fuck? Now, Jordan. He's a cat? Atrocitus and Dexstar. Agents of vengeance. Powered by rage. With Don't a cat. Worry. I'll handle these two. Ring to ring. Good luck. Gwen Stacy, I hate, I hate saying this. Okay. At least, at least the um, original version of Gwen Stacy from the 60s. Mm -hmm. Like, there have been continuities where Gwen's been more interesting. Yeah. But that character's probably just more valuable to add. You're not the first person to tell That's not a terrible thing to say. I mean... It kind you know. of is, you know. <laughs> Makes her feel dirty saying it, <laughs> even though she's a fictional character. Well, but her, her, the guilt of her death probably had more value to the comics than a living Gwen Stacy did. I was gonna say, isn't Uncle Ben more valuable dead? Yeah. So, so yeah. Oh my God, they're just puking on him. What is this? It's anger. You may have overcome your fears, but you still betrayed the Green Lantern. Hurt your allies. How could you ever forgive yourself? I... I can't. Then burn. They have magic anger puke. Mm. In brightest day, in blackest night, become vengeance. Join the Red Lanterns. No evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil fight. Beware my power. Green Lanterns, light! You're right. I lame. do hate myself for what I've done. But my will is stronger than my hate. Is Will an emotion 